Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Yaz and in today's lesson we are talking about one of the most important things you can do to protect your data. Basically, having a strong and reliable backup strategy. This isn't just about having a backup. It's about making sure that backup will actually help when disaster strikes. Picture this. You are working as usual and suddenly everything crashes, whether it's a hardware failure or a cyber attack or even a natural disaster. The question is, can you get backup and running quickly? That's where a solid backup strategy comes in. And by the end of this session, you will know how to create one that fits your needs perfectly. Let's start with the basics, the 3 to one rule. This is the foundation of any effective backup strategy. It's simple, but it works. So basically, the concept here is three copies of your data. You have your original data plus two backups. That way, if something happens to your primary data, you have got two backups to fall back on. Think of it as your safety net. Two different storage types. Don't store all your backup the same way. For, for example, uh, one backup could be on an external hard drive and another could be in the cloud. The idea is to avoid a single point of failure. If one storage type fails, the other one is there to save you. And one off-site backup. One of those backups needs to be stored off-site. That means somewhere away from your main location, like in the cloud or at a different physical site. This protects you if something happens to your building, like a fire or flood. Now, if you are working with critical data, maybe you are in the healthcare or finance sector where any downtime is a big deal, you might want to consider going a step further with, for example, the 32110 rule. It adds two more layers of protections. One, basically immutable backup. This backup can't be changed or deleted. Even if someone tries to tamper with it, it stays safe. This is really helpful in situations like ransomware attacks where hackers try to encrypt or delete your backups. Zero errors. The goal here is to have zero backup errors. This means regularly testing your backups uh, to make sure everything is working correctly and you can restore your data when needed. How to draft um, a proper backup strategy. So now that we have covered the rules, let's talk about how to build your backup strategy step by step. Step number one, identify your critical data. First, figure out what data is most important to your business. Not everything needs to be backed up with the same urgency. Things like um, customer data, financial records, or uh, and important projects are usually at the top of the list. Think about this way. So what would cause the biggest problem if it were lost? That's where you start. Step number two. Um, set your recovery objective, RTO and RPO. Now let's dive into those. So RTO stands for recovery time objective. It's basically the amount of time you can afford to be down before you get everything back up and running. Some businesses can handle a few hours. Others can tolerate even a minute of downtime. RPO. So RPO is the recovery point objective. This is about how much data you can afford to lose. For example, um, if you backed up uh, everything uh, or if you, if you back up every 24 hours, you could lose a full day of data if something goes wrong. If that's too risky for your business, you will need more frequent backups. So ask yourself, how quickly do I need to recover and how much data can I afford to lose? These two answers will shape the rest of your backup plan. Step number three, choose your backup frequency. Based on your RTO and RPO, decide how often you should backup your data 
If losing even a few hours of data is a problem, daily or even hourly backups may be needed. If you can handle losing a day's worth of data, maybe weekly backup uh, will work. This step is about finding the right balance between the risks and resources. Step number four, implement the three to one rule. Make sure you are following the three to one rule we discussed earlier. Three copies of your data, two different types of storage, and one offsite backup. This gives you redundancy and protection you need to recover from almost any situation. Step number five, and this is very often ignored, and I insist really uh, to focus on it as well, um, is basically to test your backup. Test your backups regularly. It's not enough to just set up backups and forget about them. You need to make sure they're actually working and that you can restore your data if something goes wrong. Do not rely on the software. Do not forget that uh, Veeam is just a software and basically uh, the backup integrity is very important and I recommend and I advise you that from time to time you run a small restore just that you see if everything is fine. Creating a proper backup strategy isn't hard, but it does take some planning. The three to one rule is your foundation. And if you need more, you can go to the three to one one zero rule. That can add even more layers. The key is to identify your critical data set your recovery objective and make sure your backups are tested and working. Remember, your backup strategy is your safety net. When disaster strikes, it's what will keep your business running smoothly. Thanks for joining me today and see you in the next one.